of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved, well, today is first day of August. And with 17 on that time of the church calendar year B, we thank God who brought us into this new month of August. Hallelujah. Who protected and guided us throughout last month. We commend ourselves into his hand this month again to guide and lead us so that we live according to his will, not according to our own will. We go about witnessing for him, going about doing good, going about yielding the fruit for which he called us. Man, anything that is not of God have any hold on us this month. May this be the month of change in Nigeria, a month of revolution in Nigeria. May be a month of revising evil things to good things. Turning our sorrows into joy. Turning our evil ways into good ways. Turning our petitions back to God and to demons. We pray through Christ our Lord. Today being the first of August, the church celebrates St. Alphonsus Rigori. He's a bishop and doctor of the church. Our readings will be coming from Prophet Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 1 to 6. A response to Psalm come from Psalm 146, verse 5a. A gospel message come from Matthew Gospel chapter 13, verse 47 to 53. The theme of our message today is those worthy of the kingdom of God, those who are worthy of the kingdom of God. And now why today Jesus was talking to the crowd and was telling them about that the kingdom of God can be compared with a net thrown into the sea. And he made a lot of catch of different types of fish. Yeah, different types. Brought all of them, and the settlers brought them to the shore, and they selected the good ones and put them into their vessels. And throw the one, bad ones say, bah, bah, that are bad, throw them away. That's what kingdom of God is like. Who gather all of us, remember the judgment day, who gather all of us, every nation who gather before him. And we separate us, the sheep from the goods, the evil men from the good men. And we tell the good men, come to the kingdom the Father has prepared for you, that by the right. And tell the evil men, go to the hell fire, prepare for the devil and his angels. There will be gnashing of teeth and grinding of teeth. Yes, that's what the kingdom of God is. We gather every person together, but we separate the good from the evil ones. Make sure you belong to the good ones that are worthy of the kingdom of God. And the only way to be worthy of the kingdom of God is by doing the will of God. Not your own way, or will of the world. Doing the will of God. That's why it says, not all the who call me Lord, Lord, that will enter the kingdom of God, but those who do the will of my Father in heaven. Confirm Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Yes. And Jesus said, who are my brothers and sisters and mother? And who will do the will of God? There's no magic about it. So for you to be worthy of this kingdom is for you to do the will of the Father. Do the will of God, not your own way, or the will of the world, or the will of the divorce. And Jesus spoke to the crowd like that. And he told them, the angel will come and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yes. He said, have you understood all this? And they said, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his house both new and old treasures. Yes, that's how it happens. Those who are of the kingdom of God. I'll do the will of God. And now why today Prophet Jeremiah did tell us about this kingdom of God. He said, look at it. We are like the clay in the hand of God. That's why he introduced Jeremiah to the potter. He said, go to the potter's house. And went. And saw the potter walking on the well. And when the vessel was making spoiled, he re reworked it into another vessel. And 
Then the words of God came to Jeremiah, look at it. You are in, the people are in my hand like a clay. If I walk them for this, that I will rework them. I have the capacity to rework them. If I want them to be a good vessel and they refuse, I will walk them into an evil vessel and destroy them. I have the capacity. It's in my hand. They are in my hand like a clay. And if you know you are in the hand of God like a clay, why are you making trouble? Why do you claim what you are not? You are in his hand like a clay, the hand of a potter. He can make and not make you. He gives death, he gives life. So when you are worthy of the kingdom of God, you will be made into the vessel after the mind of God. When you are not, you will revise to another vessel altogether. He will allow you to be the vessel you choose to be, and he will make you like that. So those who are worthy of the kingdom are the people who are in the hand of God and played out what God intends for them, not what they intend for themselves, or the evil ones intend for them, but what God intends for them, that the people who are qualified for the kingdom of God are worthy of the kingdom of God. And now why the psalmist who understood this message so well today, this is how he put it. Blessed is he who is held by Jacob's God. Yes, if Jacob's God is the one who is helping you, you will lead the kingdom. Otherwise, you will end up in hell fire. There's no middle course. And now why today, we are celebrating St. Alphonsus Rigori. Alphonsus Rigori was born in Napa in the year 1696. He had a degree in civil law and canon law and was a professional lawyer. He left all those Things, as Paul would put it, I count all of them rubbish to embrace Christ. He became a Catholic priest. He became a Catholic priest. And he was outstanding his apostolate. His care for the poor. An outstanding preacher. A great writer. A merciful confessor, he was full of shade, full of dead in God. He founded the most holy Ledima congregation, the Redemptorist, that persevered today. He read moral theology and made patron of the moral theologians. And when he was made a bishop, whoa, he spent his energy and time turning people to God and caring for the parishioners under him as a great pastor. He was worthy of the kingdom, and he made other people worthy of the kingdom. May God help us understand today that God has called all of us to be worthy of this kingdom by doing the will of God. And that's what Ignat uh, Alfonso Sigori did today was celebrating him. We understand this message through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the grace of being worthy of the kingdom of God in our thoughts, in our words, and our actions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.